Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a 2x2 two two hidden piston door, just exactly like this. I've seen three or four videos that this is a hybrid of. Uh, this is actually the lowest footprint of anything I've seen because I threw in a little bit of the wiring uh, myself. And it opens and closes in three or four ticks and can be easily rigged up with a pressure plate here. Now, I'm actually going to do it with the switch so I can leave it on and leave it off just for construction purposes so you can see what's going on. Something you should know is that on means the door is closed and off means that the door is open. Just remember that. The other thing is you need at least a, an intermediate understanding of redstone. And what I mean by that is the sight of this doesn't scare you. Um, so the first thing we need to do is place our pistons and you want to place it two by two right behind there and then another two by two Oop, let's place that one right there same thing on the other side an array of two by two and then you whip out your blocks you put two blocks up top and then one down at a diagonal right here and you mirror it on both sides. Now let's wire the easy one first. This one's going to be the easy one right here. You put your redstone repeater right there and you take whatever your source is and wire it to it. And then you wire it around in a little helix here, go up the spiral. And now this one's powered by that. Now it's probably a good idea to go ahead and set this to two or at least to, to, to three by right-clicking twice. And now when you turn it on, all four of them extend, and when you turn it off, it actually will pull the back two of the back pistons. Now, you can do the same thing on both sides. I'm going to do something slightly different just to show you that you can wire things a little differently, but you can mirror it perfectly if you want for the sake of simplicity and just kind of disregard what I'm showing you here. And you still wire it around the spiral, just exactly like this, except you take the re the, the uh, redstone uh, repeater and you set it right there. You can still put it there and it would still work. And you set it to two or to three with two clicks because it's set to one by default. Now this is where it gets a little different, even if you put it there, is you want to build it up right here, put down your redstone and right there. And you put down your redstone again. You want to keep it on the same level and put the repeater right there. This one you actually want to leave at one. Okay. This is where it gets a little fun. You want to set it up so that you have two blocks, one block above where those two are, and one block to the side, or two blocks to the side. And you make a little zigzag like that. You cover that with redstone. And assuming everything is done right, when you cycle it through, it's open. When you cycle it through again, it's closed. Now I did something wrong here. You don't want this one here. You want this one right here. Oh, and you need the redstone on it too. Now, when you try it, it should. Oop, don't want that there. just perfectly. If you have the problem where one of them does something weird, make sure that it steps like this. Alright, so there you go. So what you're doing is in the final presentation is you have this inset into a wall.
so that nobody sees the door. Anything else I want to say? Mm, no. No. That's, that's about it. See you guys later. Sync check uh, right now. Jump, cha cha cha. Jump, cha cha cha. Jump, cha cha cha. Okay. Now I fade it. Mm -hmm.